Ever thought you saw somebody that wasn't actually there? Let me tell you a story. (laughs) All right, so we've all heard stories from people where they thought they saw somebody, but there actually wasn't anybody there. Heard a lot of stories where you thought you saw someone and then it turned out not to be the same person, but not where they just weren't there. Oh, well, I've heard those stories at least. Is this now, a ghost story? Kind of, sort of, but not really. All right. Okay. Here's the story. All right. So, and I was about 10, 11 years old. I had some medical issues. So I had to have some surgery, got put in the ICU, all that good fun stuff, right? So here's the thing. I'm in the ICU and I'm under a strict diet. Can't have any chips, can't have any, pretty much anything at this point, right? But here's the thing. I had been doing really good. I was being a trooper, you know, 11 years old, going through some harsh stuff. So my mom, I remember my mom saying, she told me, it, it was either one or two things. She said, I'm going to run and get you some chips, contraband stuff, right? Contraband. Or <laughs> I'm going to run and get you some ice, something to that effect. She was running to get me something, though, okay? So she left the room. She left. Question, were you on drugs? Apparently, yes. <laughs> so... <laughs> So that kind of helped it out. But okay. here's the deal, right? So my mom leaves. Now I'm sitting there and I look over to the left, right? Mm-hmm. And I thought I saw my mom. So I talked to the nurse. I said, hey, nurse. I called to a nurse. And she looked at me and she was like, yes. And I was like, open the door. My mom's, my mom's bringing me some chips, you know? So she'd come back. Yeah, I thought she would come back. And she looked at me and she said, that's not your mom. And I was like, oh, okay. I looked at it again. I was like, nurse, that's my mom. <laughs> Open the door so I can get my chips. I wanted my chips. I've been uh, in ICU. I hadn't had anything like that. I was wanting my darn chips. Okay. And I. Even though the nurse knew you weren't supposed to eat yes. chips, you're like, my mom brought me some chips. Yeah. So that wasn't door. smart. But it, I mean, I actually also at this time, I had formed a nice relationship with Fritos. So that's, I was, I was wanting some Fritos. Fritos, chili cheese, okay, the, the chili cheese Fritos, they were fantastic, that's what my mom was supposed to be bringing me, I was passionate that's about this. That's what you thought your mom was supposed yes, to bring Yes, I was passionate about this, okay. So I looked at the door again, right, so I looked over, and I looked back at the nurse, and I said, nurse, I was getting frustrated, I said, that is my mom bringing me some chips, let her in, I want my chips, and the nurse <laughs> looked at me, and she looked over to the right, and she looked at me again, she said, son. That's a window. <laughs> this is the third floor in the hospital. That's not your mom. Your mom's not hovering outside the window. <laughs> so at that point, I looked up again, and I was like, yeah, she's got a point. My mom's not going to be hovering three stories high outside <laughs> the, the hospital, right? So question, was the door to your room a sliding glass door that you ever noticed that you would have thought that? No, apparently they just had me really doped up. <laughs> and you I, had the, he had the munchies. <laughs> I literally thought that thing was a sliding glass door, and I was getting frustrated because I wanted my Frito chili cheese flavored. <laughs> okay, so so say thank you to all the nurses who deal with crap like that. <laughs> yes, but there is a very bright spot to this story. Okay, so here's the thing: when I was in ICU, they had me doped up a lot. There's a lot of things I can't remember. Right, so. While I was in the ICU, something very miraculous happened, okay? When I was a kid, I broke remote controls like it was no joke, right? Mm-hmm. So, my mom... Well, how? I, I don't know. I was creative, I guess. I pulled the batteries out. So I don't know. I kept breaking them. But, while I was in the hospital, and I was put under, and I was all asleep, and I wasn't supposed to be hearing anything, my mom, while they wheeled me to her room, says, Honey, I love you. When you get home... You can use the remote. You can use the remote control. So here's the bright thing that came out of this story. When I get home, the first thing I ask my mom is, where's the remote at? And she says, why? I said, because when I was in the hospital, (laughs) you told me that I could use it. And, of course, her mouth dropped. She was like, so you don't remember me telling you that I love you and we're going to make it through this. You just remember me telling you that you can use the remote control. I said, yeah. So, that was the bright spot out of the story. But, moral of the overall story 
If you're in a hospital or anywhere and you're three stories up, more than likely there's nobody bringing you food outside the window. <laughs> more than likely. They're just Unless we are very now. far into the future. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, if any of you guys have any remotely close <laughs> stories, I don't think you got one like that, but leave us a comment down below and maybe your story will get featured in a future video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. And click the notification bell. Yeah, that too. Bye. Bye.